All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to cover a fun calculus problem with an interesting backstory. So consider the function f of x, which is x squared minus 7x plus 12, divided by x squared minus 3x plus 2, if x is greater or equal 0, and x squared minus 1 if x is negative. And the question is, where is f discontinuous? Now let me tell you about the backstory because it's very interesting. So on Saturday I was hanging out with my colleagues over Zoom and there was one professor was saying, oh, I gave this problem to my students and only 10% of them got it right. And I was like, how can 10% get it right? This is a very classical continuity exercise. And I told her, well, obviously the answer is just that x equals zero. And she was like, Payam, you got it wrong as well. And I was like, no way. But it turns out, yes, I also got it wrong because there's a little trick in this problem. And let's see if you get it right. So first of all, as I said, uh, for this co continuity questions, it's important to check if it's continuous at the point where the definition changes. So here, let's first of all check for continuity at zero. So for continuity at zero, and what we need to check is that the limit as x goes to zero of f of x is or is not f of zero. And for f of zero, because here we have a greater than or equal sign, what it means is we need to plug in x equals zero in this definition. And if you do this, you get zero squared minus zero plus 12 and 0 squared minus 0 plus 2, which is 2, and that's 6. And now, so let's check if this limit equals 6. And because we have this two-sided thing, where again the function changes at 0, might become something like that, and here we have this uh, parabola, then we need to do the left-hand side and the right-hand side limit. So first of all, calculate the limit as x goes to 0 plus of f of x, well, that is the limit as x goes to 0 plus of this function of x squared minus 7x plus 12 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. And again, same thing here, that just becomes 12 over 2, which is 6. So the right-hand side limit is 6. Let's look at the left-hand side limit. So limit x goes to 0 minus of f of x. That's just the limit as x goes to 0 minus of this function, x squared minus 1. And that becomes minus 1. So because the limits already don't agree, we can say that this limit actually doesn't exist. So d and e. So in particular, it cannot be equal to 6. And that's why the function is discontinuous at 0 already. Now this we can already conclude. So remember, for continuity, the limit has to exist. And it has to be equal to the point, uh, you know, f of that point. So discontinuous, discontinuous at x equals 0. And at this point, I was like, well, I'm done. Let's move on to the next problem. But that's why I lost points, because, well, imaginary points, really, uh, because there's something very important that I didn't look at. Because this function, it's not defined everywhere. It turns out there are points that are undefined. In fact, let's look at this uh, function to the right. So this one, not a problem. It is defined everywhere. So it is continuous at x negative. But let's look at x positive. So x squared minus 7x plus 12 over x squared minus 3x plus 2. Well, this becomes, again, x squared minus 7x plus 12 over, let's factor out the denominator, I think it becomes x minus 1 times x minus 2, 
But this is not defined at 1 and 2. So undefined at x equals 1 and x equals 2. So in particular, it is not continuous there. And therefore, we do have three points where, it not, where it's not continuous. At 0, because the limits are not the same, at 1 and at 2. So pretty much what happens at this function is, well, at 0, it has this jump. And then it probably blows up at 1, and then blows up at 2. And then it's also uh, not continuous there. So be careful when you look at those problems, especially if it's the last problem on the exam. So uh, for continuous functions, always look at the domain as well. Let's see if black pen, red pen gets it right. We'll see. Uh, all right. I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.